another perfect golf shot. Working today on impact and talking about how you can improve your impact position very quickly. Uh, if you saw my recent videos on YouTube, uh, the most recent video I showed you the impact position of the greatest players to ever play the game and also showed you how to set up closer to your impact position. Today I'm talking a little bit about how to quickly improve your impact of the golf ball, which is obviously the most important part of any swing. As I showed you in the pictures, we need to see that the grip is leading the club head through impact. Now a lot of you have for a lot of years uh, been hitting balls and doing this and having actually the club head passing the grip through impact. So this video is going to deal a little bit with the easiest way to fix that. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. While you're here, please do me a huge favor. Uh, click the red subscribe button below and the bell to accept notifications and give me a thumbs up for this video. It helps me grow my channel a lot and it's the least you can do for me giving you this great information for free. So we're going to get into how to get into impact and the big mistake I see a lot of people making is really their body is stopped as they're coming into the impact position so the body as they're coming down stalls out so that what happens because there's more weight at the end of the golf club it ends up going like that. So you'd think if I was going to throw this golf club I'd be going like that and then releasing it so it could fly and if you're going to throw an object it's the same thing. There's always going to be that lag. So we need to use the body to create that. So we need the body turning all the way through impact. If the body stops the club head goes by and goes past. So I see a lot of people doing things like trying to keep their feet flat on the ground or trying to keep their knees bent through impact. Those are things that are going to stop your body from rotating through impact. It's not what any top player has ever done in the game of golf. There needs to be this motion here so that we can transport the grip of the club through leading the club head. So the way I go about working on it is very simple. Once I'm in my setup position, you can watch the previous video where I go into that and I show you that we need to have the upper body tilted away. You can have the hips a little bit forward. This is very close to where they need to be at impact, so it looks something like this. And I'm also setting up in a position where my wrists are in an uncocked position. So it looks like that. This is cocked and this is uncocked. So it looks like that. And once I'm in that setup position, that allows me then to focus on turning back and turning through. And I don't have to accommodate uh, for being too close or too far away from the golf ball once I get the distance from the ball correct. I see a lot of people standing very far away. People tried to copy Mo Norman and the reason so few people have success with that Mo Norman method is simply the distance from the ball is so great that they have to drop down as Mo dropped down eight inches and he was incredible at it don't get me wrong one of the best ball strikers I've ever seen uh, but he had to drop in to make impact and get the hands ahead I've never seen another person learn how to do that even those teaching his swing they set up far away and if you look at their impact position, the club is passing the alignment of the leading arm just before impact, which is uh, really what you expect when you set up so far away and your body stops rotating. So make sure that you're not set up too far away. We want to be in a position that allows the body to stay level through the shot. We don't want to be having to pull away and we don't want to have to be moving in closer to the ball. So once we find our distance from the ball, I use practice swings to do that. And I make sure that my body rotation very much like Bryson DeChambeau. You can see how his knees are very bent as he goes back. And as he comes into the ball, you can see his leading straighten. And you can see his trailing heel coming off the ground. You can look though at Rory McIlroy or any of the top players. You see the same thing. This is the move that allows us to deliver the golf club with the grip leading. So I'd start with some really short practice swings first, like this, and this is part of my learning program where I'm just doing this, trying to see that there's still lag at impact, and then after impact, it straightens with the lead arm.
Once I have a feel for that, I'll go to the ball and I'll just repeat. And I'll even record it uh, and check it and make sure what I want to see at impact is the handle like this. So the left arm is in that position and the club's back at an angle. And after impact, it forms a straight line. I use the V1 Golf app to check it. You can draw lines, it's free. Members of my website can send them to me for my analysis. That's part of the membership. And I can guide you step by step through the way on how to perfect your impact position. That's what it's really all about. We'll set up close to our impact position with the body. And then we need to learn to get turned with the body through impact most efficiently. Once I do that, I'll make a little bit longer swing, trying to feel the same thing. And then I'll go to the ball again. Nice, beautiful flight, dead straight. And you can tell from the flight and the sound that that was hit perfectly. And so I'll film those and check it and make sure uh, that the impact is perfect. I also have some other more advanced drills on my site that talk about that. Probably here on the YouTube channel also. I've really put a lot of free information here. That's why it's great if you'll subscribe to my channel. And then I'll go a little bit further here to here. Trying to again, trying to feel that the club's really shallow through impact. Nice long flat spot, club staying square through impact. And then I'll go up to the ball and just try to feel the same thing. Another beauty, dead straight. I'm also always making sure my wrists are in this position. So both wrists completely uncocked. So I'll get a feel for that. Club's going through nicely, a little bit more swing. I'm just trying to make sure my head stays back in position as I'm turning through impact. So I feel the hips and body turn through impact and the club's sliding past. So it'd be a nice long bacon strip through impact. Make sure I get lined up right. Another perfect shot. So what it does when you get that leading, the grip leading through impact and the body moving properly, the club face stays square longer. That's why every shot goes straight. Again, the video you should watch is linked here above. And uh, you wanna make sure you watch that one. It's really uh, explained why you need to set up for impact. This is the easiest single plane swing. I know there's a couple options out there, but uh, this allows you to be you customize your swing to fit your game. Uh, you will improve very quickly. Check out my website linked below. My learning program takes you through it step by step. So you will improve very quickly. Follow along, join my membership and get access to my learning program today. I'm gonna help you every step of the way. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a great day.